Many of us are lost in the 50s, and I'm with Bo Ballhofer. We're near Greentown, Indiana. You are the gas pump man. Well, I've, I have a few. What got you interested in all this? What, what started this? Well, I think we had a picture of the, the gold 48 Dodge in the little building. That was my first car. I bought that in about 78. And I liked to go to swap meets, and I couldn't find car parts, so I'd buy a sign, and then I bought a gas pump, and then I bought another car, and then I bought another gas pump. And uh, eventually this is what happens if you do that for very long. Uh, do you have any idea how many different products that you're representing? Oh, I have no idea. I know there's about 45 pumps and uh, probably a couple hundred signs, but there are a lot of gas signs that the, the companies have out, been out of business for 50 years, so it's really I, I really don't have any idea how many uh, brands are represented. Now, most of these gas pumps that we're looking at in here, you have restored. I mean, you take them clear apart and just and just start over. Right, I take them down the frame, I sandblast the frame, paint the frame, and uh, there's two exceptions. There are two pumps that are uh, porcelain like bathtubs, and there's not much you can do with them. You just touch them up. But uh, yeah, I like to, they're probably nicer than they were new because they were a, a tool. They weren't a showpiece when they were new. Well, being uh, uh, in the Greentown area, you're very familiar with uh, Marion. And, and Kokomo, so a lot of this uh, collection is regional. Right, uh, the signs, the neon signs uh, came from McNamara's in Marion. Uh, I was a, I'd, I'd seen the sign since I was a kid and I'd, when I was, had an opportunity to get them, it was really a treat. I, uh, that's kind of the focal point of the wall over there, the, the neon signs out of McNamara's uh, Texaco. Well, you're retired from uh, Chrysler so you're definitely a Mopar guy. Oh yeah, everything here is Dodge. Uh, I did make one exception. My first car was a 49 Ford. I found a nice one and it, it's on loan to the museum in Kokomo now. Unbelievable collection of gas pumps, Bo. Uh, do you have one that's uh, a favorite, to just an absolute favorite? Well, I yeah, I like them all, but uh, I like clock faces. Uh, there's one in the corner it's a Pittsburgh. They're, they're not even sure when it was made or who made it. There's probably less than a half a dozen of them left in the, in the whole country. And it's, it's just a really neat old pump. You know, we're interested in a lot of 50s things, but your collection is really 30s, 40s, and 50s. Yeah, most of the pumps made in the 30s survived into the 50s. Uh, you know, if not in a service station on the farm or they moved them to the back and, and used them for kerosene, uh, yeah, they were all... Most of them worked up into the, well, even into the 60s, but I don't have any, I kind of drew the line in 1955, and I really like the 30 style pump like the, uh, like these that are Art Deco. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Art Deco style. There's really two kinds of, majorly two kinds of pumps, what, what you call the visibles and the regular kind of pumps. Can you expound on that? Well, yeah, the visibles are like out at the station, you know, they were they were all hand pumped, uh, gra and they were they'd pump the gas into the cylinder, and it was gravity feed. And then they these they actually call the numbers on this that is a computer. That was before they had what we know as a computer, but this this is called a computer type pump. And in between the visibles and the computer was the clock face, as such as the one the golf in the corner is a. The, the, the dial actually looks like a clock. When you go through a complete restoration, you try very hard to use all the original parts. That's right. I don't use any of the mechanical. The, the pump, all that is just dead weight, so it, it doesn't go back in the pump. I cosmetically restore them. And then a pump such as the signal, you can't find the trim, so it takes two or three pumps sometimes to make a complete pump, so that's when I started making display cases and uh, just basically use the shell, and then I, I make the door out of uh, oak and uh, put glass shells in them, and they make a really nice display cabinet. Well, besides uh, over 40 of the different gas pumps uh, you have in here, uh, you have some other very interesting um, artifacts. I, there's a telephone booth, an original telephone booth that looks like to me definitely in the 40s. Yeah, it's it's forties. In fact, I've I've seen some newsreels uh, where they show the the guys rushing out to phone in a story, and it's a phone booth just like that. It's it's kind of neat. Not very many people have an old gas station in their backyard. 
The gas station was built in 1932. A farmer built it for his daughter when she graduated from high school because they were, the depression had hit and there just wasn't a lot of opportunity. And it was on uh, US 35 between uh, Marion and Kokomo. Place called Coal Station? Yeah, the coal, they called it Coal's Crossing when the, ra the railroad used to run through there. And uh, now I think there's a sign that just says coal. You've worked real hard uh, completely restoring that to original. Yeah, well, it was a labor of love. It's, it's just a neat little building. Thank you. I